Baby, say hello to Sigmund. Hi. Hi, fatso. Oh, you see what I mean? I know. Why doesn't everybody stay for dinner? I'll get some steaks. We'll barbecue. I don't think we can tonight. Oh, why not tonight? We're not doing anything. Johnny, I want you to look straight up, okay? Straight up. Nope. Straight up. There we go. Hey, aren't you a little young to be fooling around with guns? I don't know. Who are you, dumb? What do you mean? Nobody sees them at a This is a girl. And girls don't play with trains. Chauvinist. While your soul is already on the road to hell, that man or woman, as the case may be, is whispering in your ear that it's hip, that it's groovy to go against the Lord. But you know in your heart, there's no one groovier than God. See there, you got the spirit built right into you. I think that it is so wonderful that you can talk to God. This is violence. This is outrage. This is the work of Satan, the power of darkness, the devil incarnate. Jim? That's the wrong bet. Why did you call Daddy Mayo showing his pig just now? Because that's what he is. Oh. Well, we can't let anyone else know, but we have Santa Claus in our stable. Peter, where is your mother? She's coming. She's putting all that goop on her face. Hey, Nicholas! What are you guys talking about? Well, uh, Billy, one... <laughs> when a man loves a woman. Oh, you're talking about sex. If she knows we miss her, do you think she's having a good time where she is? Yes, I think she knows. Was my aunt's favorite program? I told you not to talk so loud. I'm sorry. Was my aunt's favorite program? Was? You mean they're dead? No, but they're in the hospital. That's why I'm here. Mom, don't cry. How do you know my name when I don't know yours? George. You call me George. Grandma says because I've been bad, Santa's gonna pass us by. <laughs> With all those presents for you children under that tree already, what possible difference could it make? Because we've asked him for all the expensive stuff. <laughs> Grandma, Santa is real, isn't he? Of course he is, Clarky. And he has a helper who carries a big stick to hit bad little children with. Is that true, Mom? Well, darling, the way I heard it, the stick is for grown-ups who frighten little children. On the way down, we stopped at every historical monument we could. And tell me, Ian, which was your favorite? McDonald's. <laughs> Master, please. Please, let me buy him from you. You'd give up your wages for a year? For a whole year just for a lamb? For him. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. Congratulations. We had a ball, huh? Coach Elsie, man, we don't want you to go. Nah, I have to. No, you don't. What? You got a regular coach now. We voted him out. <laughs> you mean you voted little Earl's dad out? That's right. We don't want him anymore. Oh, wow. Hello, father. <laughs> Arthur, are you OK? I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> Hello. If we don't procure new uniforms, the team's in big trouble, right? Well, yeah, but then technically speaking, we, the Weaver Bears, are an endangered species. That's honest. Yeah. yeah. I told you. Hey, bring in Billy. Yeah. Hey, I'm Billy. <laughs> yes, I took a few precautions. Tough break, kid. But then again, nobody ever said that show business was fair. You better be careful with this glove. This has got Hank Aaron's autograph on it. I got it right before the 57 World Series. What is this? Show and tell? Just give me the glove. <laughs> this kid's cruising for a bruiser. Yeah, but he's good. 